eviscerate this guy again. Oreg gets dashed through by Agility, so the tanks, they aren't letting up with Agility's up here on the high ground, poking him. Uh, he's gonna try to get through here. He's got a blade going too, and that's... The wings are popping, he's still going after it. Whoa, buddy. Well, that's kind of what we expect from Agility's. <laughs> Profit with the stick on Faith. Some key kills coming now for the London Spitfire. This should allow them to start making some progress on this point. You got the wings out on Custa, sure, but there's only three left alive. Soon to be two left alive for the Valiant on this point. And Kareem, he's alone over here. He's got Bunny on Tracer, but that's it. A little too over eager. I mean, look, Agility's really came into his own in Contender Season Zero when they brought in Fate and they brought in Kareem. He just started trusting his support and tank play so much more. The initial dive there was beautiful. He hit the ground the exact same time as the Winston, just the blade didn't come to fruition there. They did force And they will finally get in here to contest Los Angeles Valiant. But with five minutes on the clock, London Spitfire have got plenty of time to work with. Yeah, Closer drinks his Red Bull, pops his wings right there, try to keep his team alive, and they continue to pick up the kills they need, not only to stall, but to get a kill, and Agilities goes down very quickly yet again. Yeah, overwhelmed, losing players one at a time. Space is here, he's got the self-destruct, that'll buy a little bit more time here as he gets the remack. Prophet trying to deny him, and Prophet, yes, gets the kill! No tank there for the Los Angeles Valiant, it's only gonna be fate, and as soon as he dies, it's over. Round one. Everywhere, hard to focus, hard to get on, but Gesture, that's a big target. He's dead, Closer will get the res off on him though, so he's back into this fight, and we lose space for Los Angeles Valiant in the meantime. Minute and a half on the clock here for the Los Angeles Valiant, and they're losing players left, right, and center, Custa now, Battle Mercy, Prophet just can take his time. Custa had to leave to go heal someone else and left Kareem all alone. Prophet cleans him up, Custa came back to find the corpse of his fallen comrade, and Prophet will escort him to the afterlife as well. The thing is, is does the Zenyatta generate any heat? Would that course be cold, still warm? Hey, but you know, electronics, their, their biggest foe is heat. So right. you have to think he has to generate some sort of heat. Fair. The one you were looking for, Doshin volleys him down. Custa is out of it. No res possible. The heals lacking. No trance either. And that just means a whole bunch of dead Valiant players. And they needed to prolong that fight so that Custa could get his Valkyrie up. It was one of their best hopes. The blade comes out late from agility. So he's still struggling to find targets. As Hurek goes absolutely off on cleanup duty. Three kills. Profit will clean up space. And that is a quick first map. A statement from the London Spitfire. Want to get to the perch and really crush the widow. And widow has to get out of there already. Oh, this duel between Bunny and Hureg as well is great to watch. Bunny has really tried to throw a wrench in things, but it is going to be profit going forward with the shurikens. Finds the target he was looking for and cuts Kareem out at the knees before he can get onto the pack. Profit just cleaning house, literally. Uh, really nice play there. They've really adapted their style. I believe that Kareem was reloading there. Unlucky timing. But meanwhile, even though they, they were able to, able to hold on to this blade as well. They have everyone up, and here come the alts. Oh, here we go. There's the one to kill it. Soon out of it. Oh, even fun. There's no hiding from Prophet Kareem. What do you think? Because he doesn't see you. He doesn't know that you're there. He smells the motor oil. <laughs> Smelling blood right now. Looking to close this one out. Custa still in valve form. It will dissipate just now. They try to push this off. A self-destruct might buy them the time they need, but Kart keeps pushing. A nice bubble dropped, and they will just push them away and grab this point. And now these stagger spawns are brutal. Custa's gonna fall. Yeah, Custa just throws himself in there bodily, trying to die as quick as possible. And they're sitting on the payload right now, Valiant. They know that London have to come to them, but we'll have the sound barrier. This time it covers everybody, and that is gonna be just a massive collapse of the defense. Kareem and Soon are dead immediately. Space gets beheaded. Custa next. They're getting run over. London Spitfire with five still alive here for this fight. Now putting enough damage on this Winston, though. He's going to buy a lot of time for his team. Will finally fall just about now and gives a reset away, too. Not exactly what you want to have happen. But soon comes out in desperation. Doomfist. Los Angeles absolutely... He's gonna get that healing throughput right now onto Fury, who's getting focused. Self-destruct is down, and we're following Bunny's perspective now. He usually works on the tanks, but Fury finding the kill on Fate yet again. The high-value targets dropping here for Los Angeles Valiant. Yeah, they force out that res very quickly. Fate is brought back to life, but this is still going on right now in the room. We were watching the Tracer, but there's a big battle of the supports over there. Pressure going down. I'll finally take out Hureg, and meanwhile, they've held their own in this closet area. This is where a lot of weird brawls happen because the supports generally retreat to it. Sightlines right now. It's been very difficult for Soon to find something. He has to play super aggro. Soon repositions. Meanwhile, the fight gets taken to the Valiant instead. Yes, and they, they even managed to leave Fury behind here to make sure that that payload isn't going to go anywhere. Bunny trying to channel his inner Soon, trying to get that back cap. Not going to happen. And Space dead as well. 
From a defensive perspective, right by the movie posters is where they were holding right there, and Soon was unable to find an angle, had to go over to the stairs right on top of the Nexus, could not get there, and then was hunted down. Beautiful play. This is great, but this is even better. As far as I'm concerned, this is getting a bit hairy. Fury will be there to contest. Soon got Hurek again, and they're going to be sitting down on this back left corner, and that's where the jump has to come in. Jester is in the back line, though. He's got both supports separated from the team, but it doesn't matter. The DPS have come alive for the Valiant. Yeah, Jester finds Soon, though. Going to be able to win. Now it's an even fight. Seeing as how Soon is brought back in, and now it is going to be the fight here. As Fate dies, you got to make it happen here, buddy. Once again, you need to step up. Ocean getting pocketed, and nobody on the point! Nobody on the payload for Los Angeles Valiant! For an Arissa, you can't move her. And so soon, nearly has the Infosite online. Looking for the headshot. He knows that they're back there in the corner. Though no, not really gonna give him one. And Jester, though, finds space. That's absolutely huge to be able to take space out of the mix. Now you can not worry about getting yanked off with that hook there. You only have to dodge Arissa Hults there, but not going to happen here. Dead into them. That's gonna really slow it up here as the Roombas go down. <laughs> the Roombas, the Bongos, ults <laughs> everywhere, superchargers everywhere, both of them dead. Horek finds agilities though, and that's more important, but Custa will be there for the res, in position as the fight gets taken to the Ooh. point, Fury, halted into the murder chasm. Uh, he was going for that hook too, he almost took space with him, but he did not connect, and now space is going to create his namesake on the point, desperation time, both supports will use their ults. And you know what? Fenocean just leaves. He says, I don't want any part of this. I'm out. The Valiant will take a stage. I think he's just on the point to stall it out. There is the EMP. Going to throw it in. Trying to take down this Diva. The healing is there, though. Very good support play. Yeah, keeping on top of it. Kareev and Agility is finding the kills. Whittling down these Spitfires. And Prophet and Closer are dead. It's only Fury left here on the point. He's got Hurag as well. Not too far away. But Fury really trying to buy all the time possible before Hurag's the Valiant. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, finally. Every piece of the puzzle falls into place soon. Attempting to stick, doesn't find it. Sound barrier is out. One well, Spitfire, two of them dead. Space with the monster self-destruct. Ends them and agility is hitting rockets as well. That's not gonna help things here for the Spitfire. Quickly losing three players and that's gonna be it. A monster self-destruct into the support ultimate that they had. Sound barrier went off. Doshin has switched over to Zenyatta, so he's gonna have to reset his ult as well. Closer now on to the Mercy to try to give them second chances at this, but this has been all Valiant so far. They finally are just about to take the lead in person. And they had just used wings too, but I don't think it matters. I don't think London, well, London should be able to actually get their support ultimates up in time before this fight is over. There's the barrage, largely eaten up. Soon takes down Bedoshin in the back line though, who was at 90% in his ultimate. Yeah, that's a big deal, but we will have closer with the Valve fairly soon. Big kills coming through, however, two, three dead for London. Spitfire, the Valiant, they're on the edge, and they've done it. We've got a series, Hex, two to one because Hurek is going to go unchecked. Fate is going to try to jump in and put some pressure on him. There's a check, though. Tanks and DPS get in. Get on Bedoshin and Hurek. Yeah, Closer gets the res off on Bedoshin, though. So we will have the Discord, and we will have the Trance able to get thrown in here. Fury with the self-destruct on the point could slow it down as well. And Bedoshin now just zooming his way in. It is going to be the last ditch effort here from Los Angeles Valiant. They've got three players alive. Hoping to hang in there, but no healers to keep him up. Yeah, as both the tanks go in there, they're trying to stall out, but they will fall. And now it is just space in the D-suit. He's taken down first points. Maybe finally be gains. Cus is going for some hero plays. Both supports. I they better, they better stop this point because they just use both support ultimates in there to try to get something going. Listen, sometimes you gotta go for the Hail Marys, Hex. That would have been ridiculous had it worked, but they needed a DPS to get in there down it but both divas are still battling as the something stuck gets chucked it just gets caught on the roof yeah, able to get fate on the remake though fate was trying to get the baby diva they called down that two-ton mech able to take him out as well he will be rested and now these deaths are going to be permanent soon pops off completes the diva kill oh and closer denied the res at the last possible second gesture he's got the primal can still keep moving this forward oh, get, what gesture class like this. The problem is you want to put Prophet on the Genji, but he's on the Tracer. And you want to put Hureg onto uh, just any other hit scan, but it's just not happening. Soon just continues to get the better side of this. They're going for the res. I don't think they got it. No. Unable to bring him back. And now Soon is free to just take hot shots all day long. Four kills for Soon, the man who's decided it's time to get work done. Funny looking to land this pulse bomb. 
Space is able to take out Jester very early on. Meanwhile, the cart has been pushing this entire time. The objective of the payload has been there. They are cleaning up. They've gotten a couple of kills. It is 6v4 right now. Right within their grasp, but London Spitfire, it's slipping away. And if it goes to a map five, it isn't going to be pretty for him. Closer in the open. It's over. Done by Bunny. Full one clip to the face, and nobody here while well, Jester is running back. But he had to use his bubble to get through the door, and it's not going to be good enough. Los Angeles Valley. From Kareev. Yeah, from Kareev. Trying to top him up. Notion, though, very patient. Waited it out. We will have a trade once again. Fury for Kareev. Space, space is out of back now after that hack. Meanwhile, Closer does go down to fate, so there's going to be no resurrection for it this side there. They're going to EMP in desperation. Is there any cleanup available on the point to get that done? Our killing Custo could be good, but that agilities gets the value. Hooreg will find the kill eventually, but he still manages to take down Doshin. No Discord, no healing orb here. Oh, that's a great crew, and even Custa pulled out his pistol to try to finish that off, so he had to transcend. He felt his life was at risk. Custa does fall here. Oh, they're looking to close this up. Both supports down. This is big fate. He's all alone out in the middle of nowhere. Has to just hang out. Don't play in traffic, fate. It's just done. He doesn't even throw himself in. Mark, where it's gonna be comfortable for London. Drive by from Profit, a double kill. You see it go to fate, but Custom, what were you doing there, mate? Yeah. I mean, one of the issues too is Genji's also just bad against Sombra anyway. You hack a Genji and he's got absolutely nothing to do but throw just tiny, tiny little stars at you. That's what it's all about. As they go through, Agilities focused. Fury charging at him, goes for the jokes. Chester has found two kills, though, Agilities. He will find Doshin, they will trade Zens, but that's not gonna be good enough. Custa, the last man alive, but not for long. Overtime burns down, and so do the Los Angeles Valiant's hopes of remaining undefeated in this stage. London Spitfire in the end. They finally get a 3-2 to go their way. London can't beat anybody on Oasis except for the Los Angeles Valiant. Happens to be the tiebreaker. They pull it back from the brink. They will not... Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.